Gaming Bolt presents 13 games that let you use nukes. Nuclear weapons are the nightmare scenario for many people, even those who don't actively worry about them. Not only do they entail the utter ruination of nearly every species as we know it, but the Earth itself becomes a barren wasteland. Still, there's something about the sheer destruction that nukes can cause which is hard to ignore, especially in the power fantasy scenarios of some games. Let's take a look at 13 such games here and how they let you use nukes. Mercenaries 2 World in Flames Destruction Sandbox Mercenaries 2 caps off its story in the only way it possibly could, by giving the player a mini-nuke to break open the enemy's bunker. Going forward, it's possible to purchase more mini-nukes, thus allowing for more wanton nuclear destruction across the map. It's a living, we suppose. Unreal Tournament the old-school nuke launcher, the Redeemer's nuclear nature entailed mass destruction for any unfortunate foe on the receiving end, and we do mean mass destruction. Unless the enemy is on the other side of the map or very heavily fortified, bad times are coming. Along with a shockwave that follows the explosions, the Redeemer's secondary fire also allows for piloting the missile. So even if the enemy players can shoot it down, simply take control of the rocket yourself and guide it to their doom. Be careful when deploying it in close range because of, well, obvious reasons. Fallout 3 Bethesda doesn't muck about when showcasing the full destructive ability of a nuke in Fallout 3. A side quest early on lets you nuke Megaton and watch the explosion from a distance. It's a searing sight, one of the more iconic moments in the series and a reminder of how messed up the world has become. Otherwise, smaller nukes can be used as ammo for the Fat Man or Experimental MIRV, the latter delivering eight mini-nukes to be the most ridiculously overpowered shotgun ever. Supreme Commander why use one nuke when you can assault an enemy with many? Supreme Commander had a way of throwing nukes left and right. Find yourself facing defeat? Sacrifice your command unit and unleash a nuclear explosion that deals 4,000 damage. The immense scale of the game may see a multitude of nukes being deployed, but it only further highlights just how devastating they can be on a battlefield with thousands of soldiers. Empire Earth Progression in Empire Earth is funny as various historical units can be mixed in with more modern and futuristic weapons as you progress. Naturally, nukes are included in the arsenal that players can deploy. So if you progress quickly enough, then you get to witness the odd spectacle of nuclear bombers wiping out Renaissance-era cavalry. World in Conflict World in Conflict makes it so that calling in nukes is a costly affair, especially in multiplayer, where they don't affect a very big area with radiation. However, they're incredibly destructive, as the main campaign will teach you. There's a situation where failing to repel the Soviet assault at the end will cause a nuke to be deployed. We'd say this game was Nuke Haven, but that'd be a little ironic in a list like this. Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 Oddly enough, the nukes during the actual gameplay of Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 don't feel nearly as powerful as they do in cutscenes. In one particular story sequence, Chicago is utterly destroyed by a single nuke. In normal missions, launching a Soviet nuke does decent damage and causes nuclear fallout, but it's not leveling the entire city in the process. Rise of Nations Rise of Nations doesn't just let you launch nukes to outright destroy entire cities, reducing them and their denizens to radioactive dust. It also has an Armageddon clock that's counting down every time a nuke is launched. Fire too many nukes, the limit being 9, and the planet is deemed uninhabitable due to all of the radiation. So, long story short, you can get nuke happy, but not too nuke happy. EDF Insect Armageddon Though there's technically no nuclear fallout from the pesticide weapons in EDF Insect Armageddon, their potency is still nothing to trifle with. Along with dealing 500,000 damage, the explosion is followed by a blinding light and the immediate death of anything in its vicinity. Suffice to say, there's a reason this weapon received the nickname, Nuke. Fallout 4 If you decide not to side with the Institute at the end, then it's possible to nuke them into oblivion. In a callback to Fallout 3, you stand at a good distance, push the button, and watch the devastating power of the nuke firsthand while the aftershock and smoke washes over the entire region. The Far Harbor DLC goes even further, letting you cause a mass suicide through nuclear detonation after convincing High Confessor Tectus that it's the right path, of course. That's not including the usual fat man that can launch mini-nukes. StarCraft Series 
The nukes in StarCraft aren't your only option for completely decimating an enemy. Whether it's the first or second game, their high cost can make them a little unrealistic for the vast majority of situations. However, if something isn't dead when a nuke is deployed, it will wish it was. Units caught in Ground Zero suffer the bulk of the damage and everything else is either heavily damaged or annihilated. Plus, there's the terror of seeing nuclear launch detected crop up. Nexus, the Jupiter Incident Mythos Entertainment's Nexus The Jupiter Incident had its share of development troubles before launching in 2004. However, the final product's visuals helped showcase the power of nuclear missiles in space combat. The sheer spectacle of a nuke lighting up the darkness of space is still terrifying to this day. Shadow Warrior Unlike Unreal Tournament, Shadow Warrior lets you launch smaller, more portable nukes that cause devastating damage and can outright kill you if you're too close to the blast radius. Even if you somehow survive the incredible amounts of damage, radiation damage persists around the center, making it even rougher. Suffice to say, keep a good distance from your unfortunate target. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.